What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the improved first person mod. And what this mod does is it changes your first person view and makes it a whole lot better. Uh, with the default in Minecraft, the first person view, you cannot see your own body. You can only see one of your arms and whatever item you happen to be holding. Now with this mod installed, you will be able to see your entire body and whatever weapon you are holding you will be able to like aim with bows and stuff like that and it will actually show an action of aiming and some other cool things that I will show you when I hop into the world. So you can see when I look down I can see my whole body, my arms and legs moving around and everything, my shoulders. So that is pretty much the main thing that this mod does, it just improves your first person as the mod is called. Now when I use a bow you can see when I aim in, it does have a whole new action and animation, which makes it look very, very nice. And if I go into third person, you can see it does also just aim in, and you can see he's holding it like you would actually hold a bow, which again is very, very awesome. So there you go. You can see I'm holding the bow, but it doesn't show it floating up in front of me, just like you wouldn't see your arm floating up ahead of you or whatever you're holding up ahead of you unless you're actually trying to hold it like that. Um, but one cool thing that I did notice is I uh, had not yet uninstalled the Balkan's Weapon mod, which is the last mod I did do, and I still have some of the weapons in my inventory here, and I went ahead and used them, and as you can see, this mod actually works with other mods. So I am holding the Blunderbuss gun from the Balkan's Weapon mod just like you would hold a real gun. Same with the musket and the blowgun. And these are the only ones I've tested. I'm sure it works with all the other weapons. Uh, just so you guys aren't confused, the blunderbuss, the musket with a bayonet, and the blowgun are not added by the improved first version mod, first person mod. Um, these are added by Balkan's weapon mod. But like I said, I had them in my inventory and I went ahead and tested it out and it worked. So let's go ahead and check these out in third person. So you can see it loads it and then it holds it just like you would a normal gun, which is very, very awesome that it works with other mods as well. And then for the blow gun, it holds it up a little bit higher. I'm not too sure why it does that, but it could actually be replicating holding it up to your mouth, which would be really awesome. So yeah, that is the first person view mod improved first person mod very very awesome mod gives minecraft a little bit of a new look and just makes the game a little bit more enjoy enjoyable to your eyes so i now need to clear up my minecraft jar after i do that i'll be back and i'll show you how to install this all right so what you're gonna need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as winrar 7 zip or winzip now all these archiving programs will work relatively the same way so you can use whatever you prefer however i will be using winrar in the tutorial you will then need to download minecraft forge the render player api and the improved first person first i have a hard time saying that and the improved first person mod itself so to get these three files i'll go ahead and give you a link to these two three pages in the description so first off for the improved first person view mod if we go ahead and scroll down we have a little bit of information about the mod uh, pretty much all the information actually and um, a little bit of information of um, how the mod creator will not have a lot of time to work on the mod so if there are any bugs that you guys find it may take a little while to fix them so we have some video reviews here and then we have some screenshots so this is what it looks like when you're holding a map and everything compared to uh, the normal Minecraft when you're holding a bow and all that good stuff. Pretty much the stuff I already showed you beside the map. But to download it, we want to go ahead and keep scrolling down until we get to the download link for improved first person. And we want to download it from either Mediafire or AdFly, whatever you prefer. Keep in mind, downloading it from AdFly will help support the mod creator. Um, I'm pretty sure that AdFly will just take you to the Mediafire, but again, AdFly is if you want to support the mod creator. So that is how to download the improved first person view mod. Now for the render player API, if we go ahead and come to this page here, you can either download it from Mediafire or Dropbox, whatever you prefer. Um, if you click on Dropbox, it'll just automatically download it from this page. 
So that's how to download the Render Player API. Now for Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and come over to the main Forge download and scroll down, uh, you can either download it from Adfly or Direct. Again, keeping in mind downloading it from Adfly will help support the mod creator. Now, I would recommend downloading the recommended version simply because that is the most stable version of Minecraft Forge. And you're going to want to download the universal, not the source. So that is how to download all the files you would need to successfully install this mod. So when you're ready to install the mod, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent. Now, a lot of people get confused on this when I say percent app data percent. Uh, so I just want to clarify, it is going to be the percent symbol and then app data and then a percent symbol again. So if you're confused on what I'm talking about, that is how you type it out. So once you type that in, you want to go ahead and open up your roaming. Then open your .minecraft, open your bin, left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to again open it with WinRAR. Now, we will be coming back to the bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. And you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to do that is to hold Control, then hit A, and that will highlight everything. And you want to simply drag all of this into your Minecraft jar. And hit OK. Go ahead and close down Minecraft Forge. Now go ahead and open up the plen the re bleh, the render player API and again you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar so go ahead and just highlight all of these and simply drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK go ahead and close the render player API now you should have the meta in folder in your Minecraft jar so you're going to want to delete this so go ahead and just left click it then select delete files then hit yes and that will delete meta inf you want to make sure you are always deleting meta inf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you do not, it will make Minecraft crash. So after you delete meta inf, go ahead and close down your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin. So go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back. So we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a folder called core mods in your, fo in your .minecraft folder. So to create one, we want to go ahead and right click within the .minecraft folder. Then go down to new and then select folder. This will of course create a new folder and you're going to want to rename this folder core mods so just c o r e m o d s core mods no spaces and no capitalizations so once you have your core mods folder go ahead and open that up and then go ahead and open up the improved first person view mod and you're going to want to put these two jar files into the core mods folder once you've done that you can go ahead and close down both of these folders and that's it you're done installing the mod so leave down in the comment section below a comment um, on what mod tutorial you want to see for future mod tutorials and yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time